Welcome to Getting Started with Arcadia. In this video, we'll be taking an overview of schematic design in Arcadia. First, let's open a schematic from the project details screen. Here we have a schematic window, and in the middle, we have the worksheet. In this circuit, I've already added a battery, fuse, and switch, and so on. Each of these components are joined electrically by the wires shown here. There's also a splice with three wires coming together. Adding components and inserting wires is dead easy. I can add a fuse using the library navigator on the right hand side. There's a list of standard library components. There are many components which all come as standard with Arcadia, although it's possible to create your own components too. To speed things up, I can search for what I'm looking for, so I'll type fuse and hit search. Here we are. If you find yourself using some components more than others, you can add them to your favourites. Clicking on the star to the right will add them to the Favourites tab. Otherwise, I'll just click on the fuse and place it on the diagram. Arcadia is intelligent in that I can add a fuse to an existing wire and it will become two wires with Arcadia doing the rest for me. Once placed on the worksheet, I can move components around using the Move command. To help me line things up, I can toggle the grid, snap to grid and guide. You can turn these on or off from the bottom of the screen. Although I use the guide often, and as a tip, you can press A on the keyboard to turn the guide on or off. Each component has its own properties. Double clicking on the fuse, say, will bring up its properties, and from here you can give the fuse a unique reference code, add a longer description, and importantly, set the fuse rating. Later on, this can be used when simulating the circuit. I'll add a wire by using the wire command on the toolbar, then draw the wire on the worksheet. Wires too have properties, and I can set the wire name, cross-sectional area and colour from here. I'll change this to be a red wire. Back to the worksheet and I can toggle whether I want to display the wire colours on or off. Stripe wires are shown too. Check out the red green wire here. Simulating the schematic in order to test it is straightforward. Use the simulation command on the toolbar. Arcadia now uses the wire and component electrical properties to simulate the circuit. This helps me not only check the logic in the circuit, but also tells me information about the fuse and wire loadings too. See here, the fuse shown in orange is telling me this fuse is nearly at its current threshold. I can update the fuse rating and the simulation updates. If I'm not careful, the wire highlighted in red is telling me it succeeded its current rating, which could melt the wire or even worse, start a fire. So I better get that wire changed. But other valuable information is shown too, such as the voltage drop along the wire. Having said that, I can hover over any pin and determine the voltage too. Pretty handy. One more thing, the simulation is fully interactive and I can turn on switches just by double clicking on them which will update the simulation logic. All of this helps you in designing the schematic right first time, which is what we like to hear. That's it for this overview, but please check out the other videos and subscribe to our channel.